Hello and welcome to this very quick tip. This is a quick tip about iNav on fixed wings. Now I've done loads of different videos. I'll put some links down below. A complete series, in fact, aimed at helping those of you that are new to iNav to help set it up on something like a multi-rotor or a fixed wing. This is my beloved Atomati Dolphin, my number one favourite wing slash plane, actually. I fly all the time here and I absolutely love it. However, the reason for this video, as you probably spotted from the thumbnail, is that I get asked this question a lot. And that is when you have finished setting everything up, you make sure that everything arms, you get a GPS lock, everything's working in your OSD, you get telemetry back to your radio. But when you arm the model and raise the throttle, either nothing happens or the prop starts spinning, but just spins at one speed, no matter how you move the throttle. Now, I get asked this about once every two weeks, and it's something that I do cover in those videos. So if you're bumping into this, I would heartily recommend go back and watch those build series because there's a chance that you've not only missed this, but lots of other things too. What's the answer? Well, the answer is that you've turned on permanently enable auto launch. And what auto launch is doing is waiting for you to throw the plane. How auto launch works is it has a default throttle that will spin the prop at until it detects it has been thrown and then it will increase the throttle to whichever value you've set and rise gracefully into the sky. To arm auto launch, what you do is you, I set up anyway, permanently enable auto launch. So whenever I arm the model, it's waiting to be thrown. You'll hear a little beeping noise, a double beep when you raise the throttle. The prop will start running at the idle throttle setting that you've got set for auto launch, and then it will start peeping. And then you just throw it, it'll catch itself, spin the prop up into the speed that you want, and away you go. Now, if you don't want to use auto launch and you've got it set for permanent enable, that's not an issue. All you have to do is just move the elevator or aileron slightly and that will cancel the auto launch process. But I'm making this video for those of you that get in touch, like I say, one person about every two weeks at the moment that goes, I finished my build and my throttle isn't scaling properly or when I arm my model and raise the throttle, the prop isn't moving, but it all works in configurator. It'll be auto launch, either turn it off or keep it permanently enabled like I do, wiggle the elevator or aileron to cancel it, or just be aware that that's the way it's actually supposed to work. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Payless360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.